Huhu. The weather is great. Yeah, um, so I'm under social distancing, self-imposed quarantine, uh, not really, <laughs> but a bit, just my usual way of life with less taking walks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for needs like me, it's basically paradise. We don't have to think about all the excuses and feeling shitty because we don't want to meet our friends in real life. We have a wonderful excuse now. Uh, it's Corona time and so I'm sorry I can't uh, meet you in person at the moment. Yeah. We just have to make the best out of a bad situation. So I've got a theory about the toilet paper situation, a conspiracy theory. So think about this. What if the people in charge have thought up a plan when a major pandemic, epidemic, something like this happens, to concentrate the reporting on toilet paper. You report about it, that everybody gets reminded, oh yes, I should stock up on some essentials. But you report on toilet paper because it's the least panic-inducing thing when everybody gets it. Okay, I saw some panicky toilet paper responses, but um, it would be much more panic inducing if something vital was missing or if some, in the meantime, some vital things are missing, yeah. Um, not missing like in permanently missing, but a shortage because of the willingness to buy, the willingness to stockpile um, from most of people, which, which is totally all right. Yeah, you should have a decent amount of things in your home to get over one or two uh, weeks. But this was after the big toilet paper run and it would be much more discerning if the essential things, the really important things, would have run out first. And so everybody could make jokes about toilet paper and I think this was really handled well. Huh? Let's speak about different kinds of greetings. At the moment it's not advisable to hug, kiss or even shake hands. So some people adapted the Indian Namaste, Buddhism kind of greeting, but I greet people with the Chinese warrior greeting that's like this. Because I think a Chinese greeting is fitting for the coronavirus and I very much like the symbolism of this greeting. Um, it's a greeting of martial arts. In martial arts your fist is uh, the weapon and uh, for this greeting you have your weapon sheeted with the other hand. It's uh, not an aggressive greeting. It's I've got the power to hurt you but um, I won't do it kind of greeting. Just a suggestion. I mean uh, wave would be all right as well. <laughs> Live long and prosper is <laughs> never wrong, right? So my last week was uh, pretty good. 
I did uh, some animations again for uh, Carol Brown and the companies she's uh, working with. And I wrote two chapters, only two chapters, but they were complicated chapters, so it's, it's all right, I believe. I held my level. And I educated myself about editing because my story is still on the end thingy. I've got uh, one of the climaxes over. I'm currently writing the second large part to wrap it up and then there's only one climax left. Yeah, yeah and uh, I don't know if I'm ready for the end of my book oh, and I don't know if I'm ready to start editing. I totally understand that so many advice givers suggest to let a finished first draft sit for a while, for a few months. I would prefer to do it as well, but I I don't know, yeah. I mean, it's really complicated for me now to judge my future because originally I wanted to take only a year off, but I don't know if this year is finished, how then the economy is because of Corona, if there are job openings at all, or maybe Corona will still be a topic and I'm not willing to go job hunting during a time I should better spend in quarantine or semi-quarantine or social distancing. No. Oh, for my English and American or uh, for my international viewers, the self-imposed quarantine or the government-imposed quarantine, it doesn't matter, has a sweet little nickname in Germany, Korokara. <laughs> Corona quarantine, Korokara. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's cute. Yeah, let's do another week of Korokara, Korokara. Korokara, maybe another bit on Friday or Saturday in my series Copycat vs. Ninja Hen. Ninja Hen vs. Copycat. I finally can pronounce the title of my story and now I have this strange new series with a complicated name. Okay, my web novel is called Auntie Toast Sevilla MMORPG, check it out, especially now you have time to read because you are quarantining, you are in Korokara. And uh, the series is called Ninja Hen vs. Uh, Ninja Hen vs. Copycat. How do you like my no intro? I'm absolutely absurdly in love with it. Comment down below. Good. Bye bye.